Hey friends, I'm Amanda. I am a hand embroidery artist and I run this YouTube channel and an embroidery blog focused around teaching others how to embroider and ultimately just to show you the power of creativity and to try and help inspire you. In today's video, I wanted to do a little bit of a behind the scenes process video, a little bit more vlog style of creating this pansy embroidery pattern. This is actually a design that I reworked from a few years ago. I used to make this made to order and I was getting a lot of requests from people for a pattern, which I didn't have the opportunity to do and I kind of forgot about it for a while, but I decided to redraw it and rework it and just kind of, I guess, sprinkle in a little bit more of my style now into it. And I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. I will leave a photo of the old design if you're curious of what it looked like originally. I had it in an oval embroidery hoop and I decided to make it um, in a circular one this time. Just because oval embroidery hoops are super hard to come by now and I just feel like the circular ones work just fine. This pattern is a thread painting pattern but I did use a little bit of a different style with it. I used to embroider with more strands of thread a lot when I used to do thread painting initially and while most of the time I will only use one strand of embroidery floss, I really liked the chunky look for these pansy flowers. I kind of wanted it to look more like a chunky painting, so I decided to try and use a couple of strands instead of just one for this pattern, and I think I like the way it turned out. It's a little bit more three-dimensional and a little more, I guess, rough around the edges, but I think it looks really nice for this pattern. This footage was taken over basically a full weekend. I kind of just got super inspired, which happens to me every now and then. And I'd been thinking about making a pansy embroidery for a while. I don't know if it's because I'm really over winter right now and I'm ready for spring to come so I can go for more walks outside and see all the pretty flowers in people's front yards, but I decided to just kind of go for it and I spent a good chunk of my weekend just embroidering this and I'm glad I did because it was really fun and it was just a fun opportunity to kind of explore how to approach this pattern a little bit differently than I did initially. So I really enjoyed reworking this and I think that I should do that more for things. I've definitely been listening to a lot of podcasts lately from um, Creative Pep Talk, Andy J Pizza. I've listened to his podcast for a long time, but I've listened to a lot on developing your style. And I feel like a lot of the tips that he gives are kind of to basically copy yourself, which I don't think I do enough. I think a lot of the time I like to reinvent the wheel and it seems fun to kind of challenge myself, but I think it's good to kind of repeat what you've done before but do it a little bit differently and perfect your techniques or your approach a little bit better and I think that I learned a lot by reworking this pattern and just kind of referencing what I did before but seeing what I didn't like about it and changing it up. I hope you enjoy this video and I'm going to stop rambling now. This pattern is available on my Etsy if you would like to stitch it yourself and I will link it in the description and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.